What is up guys? It's your boy Rahulk Kakis and today we are going to be taking a much closer look at the brand new Collective Obligation Exotic Pulse Rifle. Now this is the new raid exotic for the brand new Vow of the Disciple raid added to Destiny 2 with the Witch Queen expansion. This is just a random very low drop similar to other raid exotics like the Vex Mythoclass. So you might get it first try luckily or it might take you 50 tries. But regardless, you're gonna have to beat this new raid. However, I have put out my complete Vow of the Disciple raid guide, every single mechanic of every single encounter, guys. Check that out, it is linked up above. However, moving on to this actual exotic. This is a very, very unique weapon. The intrinsic trait is Void Leech. This weapon leeches void debuffs when damaging targets that are suppressed, weakened, or volatile. Once charged, you hold reload to swap firing modes. In this mode, damage from this weapon applies the same void debuffs that were leeched. However, it also has another unique perk here called Umbral Sustenance. This weapon's magazine is automatically reloaded when you gain Devour, a Void Overshield, or become invisible. Okay, but what the heck does that actually look like in game? Well, as you can see right here, I use my Titan Melee and Control Demolition to get some enemies volatile. I shoot them, kill them, and then you're actually going to see in the left corner of your screen a buff appear called Void Leech Charged. And as you can see, when you aim down sights, you have a bunch of different circles and the very center biggest circle, when that's lit up, that generally means your void leech is charged. Then as you can see, I can hold reload, I activate the alternate firing mode. And then when I shoot these enemies, I, as you can see, am shooting volatile rounds. And I don't have that volatile rounds mod on or anything just yet. This is just the gun because I shot some volatile enemies. It basically transferred that volatile power onto the gun. And so when I activate it, it then shoots volatile rounds. And just focusing on that one aspect of this exotic for a second, that is probably how this weapon is going to be most commonly used for this season. Because we have the artifact mod that gives your void weapons, which this is, volatile rounds when you pick up a void elemental well. So what you can do is the gameplay loop you're seeing in the background, where I simply pick up a void elemental well, I gain volatile rounds, I slay out with it, and then when my volatile rounds buff is over, I can activate the leech mechanic, which gives me back volatile rounds. Simply combine that with the elemental armaments mod, where you get void elemental wells for getting kills with a void weapon. And I mean, how are you not slaying out with volatile rounds? So basically, you can give an extra seven seconds of volatile rounds when you need it without collecting an elemental well to massively increase your chances of getting one to drop from that point forward. So it's like, oh no, my emergency volatile rounds reserves is now active, which which is already pretty darn powerful. Now, with all of that being said, Volatile Rounds is only one of three different Void debuffs, and you've probably noticed there's the big circle in the sights that tells you the leech is active, and then there's three more circles to the side. And it turns out each one of these circles represents a different Void buff. So yes, that means you can leech multiple Void buffs, as you can see. So in this instance, I still have volatile rounds, right? I accumulate that by killing enemies with volatile rounds. And then I have a teammate that's using the child of the old gods uh, aspect. And he's gonna apply that to the boss, which weakens it. Then as you can see, when I shoot that boss, I actually make another circle glow. So I have two glowing circles. Now, when I activate my alternate fire mode, as you can see, not only am I applying volatile to these enemies, they're clearly kind of exploding, but all my numbers are the precision weaken numbers. So I'm also applying a weaken effect. And as you can see here, I actually switched to the suppression grenades and I still have the 
Grenades cause weaken, fragment on, so that means I get volatile rounds, I throw my suppression grenade, and now I shoot an enemy that's suppressed and weakened, and all three of those circles are glowing. So when I shoot my gun, it's now like the omega damage output. I have volatile rounds, I'm suppressing enemies, you can actually see them, like almost have that blind effect when I'm shooting that boss, and they're being weakened as well. You've got all three void debuffs coming out of one single weapon, and that is undoubtedly very powerful. Like for those seven, eight seconds where you are shooting those rounds, you have genuinely one of the most powerful guns in the entire game. Like doing all three of those effects is just nuts. But with all of that being said, there are definitely some downsides. Mainly, you're actually gonna see in the corner of your screen when you're done the alternate fire mode and shooting your mega rounds, there's actually going to be a cooldown. So you can't start leeching right away. And obviously this is to prevent, I shoot an enemy with weakened rounds and then my buff runs out, I can immediately start leeching that same enemy that I just weakened, right? Like it would be an endless loop. However, that is kind of a pretty long lockout and it does kind of prevent you triggering this gun with the gun itself. And again, that kind of makes sense in terms of balance, but is absolutely limiting the power of this weapon. Not only that, but you have to use this really with a void subclass. I mean, how are you going to weaken enemies without void abilities? I mean, maybe, I was gonna say you could run the tractor can, but you literally can't. Potentially you could run something like a void glaive. I think the raid glaive might be kinetic, so maybe you can fit into that slot and you use the suppressive glaive mod and that would be really tricky. The point is, okay, it's really hard to get these void debuffs from other weapons while also using this particular exotic. So the easiest way by far is going to be with void abilities, a void subclass and so on. And that of course is a massive downside. This weapon on an arc subclass, on a solar subclass, on a stasis subclass is next to useless. It's not gonna be activating its abilities. Whereas the Vex Mythic class you can use on any subclass, it really doesn't matter. This one wants you to pick void and that's okay for this season when void 3.0 is the new hotness, but next season when they remake solar or arc, how likely are you to be using this thing? Not so likely. But you have also got to ask yourself, how necessary is it for void builds to use this thing? I mean, they could be using the funnel web SMG instead, and that with volatile rounds is nuts by itself. You don't have the extra volatile rounds if you need it, and the leeching effect and so on, but still, you've also got things like the tractor cannon, which is gonna suppress and weaken enemies on its own with every single shot. Even something like the two-tailed fox exotic rocket launcher has one of its rounds being a suppressive round. So you have a lot of already powerful weapons that enable void abilities. Do you really need this thing? And in my honest opinion, I think the answer is no. This is still a very cool and unique weapon, and you can definitely throw it on a great void build to juice it up even more. However, I don't foresee people using this in higher level content where it's a little bit harder to constantly get those void buffs, not only on enemies, but then specifically shoot them with this weapon to store it for later. Eh, it just kind of seems like a lot of work. and. It's way easier to do that in PvE and PvP, having to like weaken enemies and then shoot them with this weapon is even more impractical. So potentially I could be wrong, but I just foresee other weapons being more viable than this thing. With all of that being said, it's still very cool and very unique. And with the 40% damage buff that all void primaries, and even though this is a new one, it applies to this, is getting to red bar enemies, it still could be a pretty powerful and fun gun in a lot of activities. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.